Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain the difference between add shortcut to my OneDrive and add shortcut to my files. Um, uh, let me explain to you the difference between these two features. They both kind of cause the confusion and I'll explain to you the difference and what happens kind of behind the scenes. So the feature, the first feature I'm talking about is add shortcut to OneDrive right here. It appears right next to sync button. So here's a use case. Uh, I'm on this uh, board side. I have a library with a bunch of files and folders. And you know what those uh, bank statements, all right? This is the folder I access um, on a regular basis. Uh, and uh, I kind of, you know, need to bookmark it. So what you can do is check the box and click add shortcut to OneDrive. And what will happen, it says added shortcut to OneDrive. Now, the big misconception here is that it actually synchronizes this folder uh, to your computer. No, it does not. All right. Uh, that's what the sync button is for. Uh, let me show you what happens when you create add a shortcut to OneDrive, all right? So uh, I already have done that. So let me go to my OneDrive for Business account. This is, of course, um, the OneDrive for Business account that each of you have as part of your organization. So uh, this are all my private files and folders, right? But look at this. Here is the folder. I just created a shortcut to it, all right? and essentially it just appears in my OneDrive for Business. And this is for convenience, all right? So if I'm part of 10 different SharePoint sites and I have a folder there and here, and you know, I, I you know, want to kind of aggregate them all in one place, this is how you do it. So, so, so I can access my uh, personal stuff and I can access my, um, you know, the stuff I bookmarked with uh, all those different, um, you know, from all those different sites. And when I click on this folder, you are actually very important. None of this stuff is actually copied over to uh, my OneDrive. It's kind of almost like a bookmark, all right? So I'm just able to see uh, the folder and subfolders from that side, but I can see them from the convenience of my OneDrive for business. Super, super uh, convenient. All right. Now, uh, the second feature, which kind of sounds the same, um, but a little bit different, uh, is the ability to add short shortcut to my files. Uh, now, if you notice, if I, you know, select the folder, yeah, here we go. I have add shortcut to OneDrive, right? But now I want to do it to this file. Oh, look at this. It's not here. Instead, we have add shortcut to my files. And it literally does the same thing, all right? Very important. It literally creates, does the same thing. So add shortcut to my files is uh, a way you create bookmarks to files. And add shortcut to OneDrive is a way you create uh, bookmarks for folders, all right? And uh, let me do that. Let me press just like that. And essentially, if I go to my OneDrive and I click refresh, just like that, as you can see, here's the folder I bookmark, here's the file I bookmark, all right? Now, uh, it's very important, uh, just like with this folder, uh, the document was never copied to my computer, all right? Uh, I'm sorry, to my OneDrive for Business. Uh, if I open the document, you're going to see it will open the document from that side. So it literally is just uh, the bookmark, all right? Now, um, what is convenient, and um, this is where the synchronization comes in, so let's say I'm part of all these different SharePoint sites and libraries, and I created all these different shortcuts to different files and folders from all over the place, right? Because because I already synch decided to synchronize my OneDrive for Business on my computer, if I go to my Windows Explorer, and let me try to open it again, sometimes it does uh, take... Um, uh, a while uh, for it to appear, one second. So just like that. And um, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that folder, but I do see the bookmark uh, to the file. I'm also supposed to see the uh, shortcut uh, to that uh, folder I created. And for some reason, I'm not seeing that, but it is supposed to appear here. But if you notice, the file shortcut does appear. All right, uh, so essentially, uh, whatever you have in your OneDrive for Business, the online uh, version right in the browser, uh, will, should and will appear uh, in your Windows Explorer as well. And the idea is that, right, uh, once again, if you aggregated 
uh, all these different files and folders, and you made uh, created all these different shortcuts in uh, uh, you know in your wonder of a business. You can also uh, access them from the convenience of your uh, Windows Explorer. I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time for this folder to appear, but you will see pretty much a folder with that little arrow appearing over it, uh, meaning that it's a shortcut and essentially you will be able to access the documents uh, in your Windows Explorer as well. All right. So this is essentially the difference between uh, these two features. They literally do the same thing. It just add shortcut to OneDrive as a way to bookmark the folders. Add a shortcut to my files as a way to bookmark uh, individual files. That's all it is. All right. So that's all I wanted to uh, mention in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.